Hey guys, what's up? It's Random Kiwi from Real Revolution. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on screen flow and animations with it, because a lot of people have been asking how I made my intro, or I've got screen flow, how do I use it to make animations? Well, today I'm going to show you. First of all, screen flow is a recording slash editing program that you can use for small 2D animations as well. You can get it from, it's only Mac, sorry for Windows users and Linux users. It's only Mac. It's about $100, what it's really worth it. Um, also, if you're one of those guys that like to crack stuff off the net and get stuff for free from torrents, I don't do that, but you guys can go to get ScreenFlow that way if you want. It's all up to you, but anyway, this is ScreenFlow, and I'll show you it right now. So I'll click on ScreenFlow, whoops, and I'll open a new empty document, and first question you guys have been asking is how do I um, use it to make my intros? How do I make animations with ScreenFlow? Well, I'm going to quickly get my a few pictures and show you. Okay, so first of all, I'll put a nice background image. Um, let's put Endless Sky as our background image. Okay, and over here I'll zoom in a bit. Well, lag a bit. Okay, zoom in a bit. And let's say I want to make a creeper walk into the middle and um, blow up. Okay, well, I can't actually make it walk, but I can make pictures move, obviously. So. Here's our creeper. It's weird. Why can't I? Oh, yeah. Whatever's on top in the timeline is what's going to be on top on the picture. So if we want the creeper to be on top, we kind of have to put it on top of the endless sky thing. There. Just delete the old one. Okay, so this is our creeper. Let's call him creepy. Um, and say we want him over the course of five seconds to go from point A to point B. So this is point A and this is point B. If we just play it right now, he's just gonna stand still, nothing's gonna happen. What we need to do is add things called video actions. So we select the point where we want it to happen, press add a video action. Um, you get this little thing, or you might get a few notifications. Um, you drag that out over the course of five seconds, and basically this is point A still, so this is point B, so if you want him to go here at point B, over the course of five seconds, then you put him there. And as you can see, as you drag over the timeline over the course of five seconds, he moves over there. And you can even press play to test this out. As you can see, he's sort of semi hovering. And there. So if you wanted to go faster or slower, just simply make this timeline shorter. I mean, this small video action is shorter, so he'll get to point A to point B in a shorter time, so faster. See? So how that's faster or. See how this is much, much slower. Now let's say we want him to go from off the side of the screen. So from point A, we can't even see him because this is all that's visible. And in five seconds, four seconds, let's make it, we want him to get to the direct center of the screen. As you can see, it's got these nice lineup bars that help you line everything up. And we want him in the center of the screen. And then we want him to flash and blow up. Okay, to do this, We've already got our video action, so he goes point A to point B over the course of four seconds, stops. To make him flash, what you might want to do is add another video action and keep it short. But basically, at the end of it, as you can see in video properties, you've got all this stuff. You might want to turn the brightness to full. So therefore, over here, over the course of that small video action, he flashes to white. And if you want to add another video action of him flashing back to normal or flashing all the way to black, and then you can also copy and paste video actions like that. So copy and then just press Control V. Oh, wait. Wait, copy? That's weird. Um, anyway, copy, Control V. So then he'll flash white again. And then to make the whole screen sort of seem like it's blowing up, we're going to make um, the background image, as well as him, sort of go all the way to bright. So for the background image, we add another video action, and make the background image by the end of the video action go all the way to its top brightness. Well, that's where it went pink. Uh, let's put no saturation and full contrast. So it's sort of my... And then after that, to make it die down... Well, Oh yeah, and we'll make at this point we'll make the creeper go away as if it's blown up, I guess. And at 
this point we want to make it so the explosion is dying away so we'll add another video action and we'll make it a bit longer and over the course of it the screen sort of goes back to normal so 100 100 whoops 100 and 100 and that's weird it should be normal Oh wait, I'm in the middle of the action. Okay, there, it's back to normal. So, basically, over the course, you'll see a creeper walk out, then he'll flash black and white a bit, and then he'll blow the entire screen up, and the screen will slowly turn back to normal. So let's see that by pressing play. And yeah. That was a very rough animation sort of thing, but obviously you can make it look much better. This is just a short tutorial, and some things I'll just show you quickly now are... Okay, I'll just add something else, like my... What should I add? I will add a sword. Actually, I'll add a nice little slime. There we go, slimy. And we want it to say, make it so the slime comes in, so we'll say add a starting transition. Then you'll see a little thing come up here. You choose, um, say, say you want him to um, dissolve, um, sort of like blend in, so we'll choose cross dissolve, and then the way he'll come in is by sort of fading into like that. Then say we want him to go back, say we want him to get a reflection and a shadow, and then fade out again. So what we'll do, add another video action, make it so at the start of the video action, as you can see, they've got tools like reflection, so we'll turn reflection on, but turn it to zero. Then at the end, turn reflection on, but turn it to 100%. And same with shadow, shadow, set with zero opacity. And then shadow with 100% opacity over here. Ah, tick shadow. 100%. So as you can see, this slime, oh, and then you want him to fade out. Um, so at an ending transition, in fact, let's not make him fade out, let's make him, as you can see, he's got a nice run, nice range of tr um, transitions, so let's make him mod out, I guess. Oh, let's make him melt out. There we go. Okay, so you, after that, you'll see a slime fade in, and then he'll get a shadow and a reflection, and then he'll f uh, melt out. So yeah, that's a lot of the, that's a few scratching the surface type of things you can do with ScreenFlow. And with that stuff, you can do sort of small. Uh, you can do animations like what I did for my um, for our intros, which I'll show you actually now. I don't want to save. No, I don't want to save this crap. Um, so, what did I do? Oh, okay. Here it is. This is our new intro, and basically, it's just a whole combination of a lot and so many things that it makes a bit laggy. But it's a whole combination of a lot of video. Also, you can add video actions to audio, so you can make it so. At the start, the audio is soft, but then as it builds up, it becomes louder. Anyway, back to the point. Um, for instance, in my in my uh, intro, it starts off with these rails going up, and these rails are really just video actions. So it starts off way down under the screen down there, and then as the video action progresses, the rail goes up, and then other rails start going up as well. And this whole thing is motion blurred, so you don't actually see exactly what's happening, but yeah. Then, after that, um, well, as you can see, there's a bit of lag in the screen for the player, but... Okay, over here, here's something interesting. This sword is coming in from far that side. Well, whoops. Far this way, and you can't really see it, but the video action makes it come downwards. Oh, wait, it's coming from up there, and it makes it come downwards. And then there's a flash with one of the other things. Yeah, I hate that noise. Um, there's a flash. And then it's all like Rails Revolution, etc. Yeah. And all the blood here, all that blood is like a very slow animation, um, very slow video action making it slowly move. Um, all these iron blocks soon fade out over here. And then where it says join the re revolution, that's actually another video action, wherever it is, hang on. Oh well, we'll join the revolution is, oh, it'll be at the bottom. Ah, here's another video action where at the start it's all the way back, whoop. It's sort of fading in and it's all the way back there, but it's slowly getting bigger. So yeah, you can do quite a bit with video actions as you've seen. 
I hope this tutorial helps you. Um, please get ScreenFlow, it's awesome. And it doesn't have much recognition, but anyway, thanks for watching, goodbye.